Warning. This game is rated M for Mother Trucker. Driving across the nation because they can do it. You? I'm a sneaking, I'm a sneaking, I'm a sneaking. Oh, they see me, I think. And the other one. I think that takes care of all of them. Yep, they all dead, sucker. I don't think there's anything in here, though. Oh, well. Anyway, um, just thought I'd let you guys know that I watched, like, part of a pretty scary television program called, like, Paranormal Witness or something. I don't know. Um, it was pretty freaky, actually. It was a good, it was a good television show. I was surprised. Oh, you. Fire axe time! Boom! Boom. Boom. The only thing, though, is that the fire axe is really slow. So... It, it's so slow that it makes the ceiling bleed. I know. It's despicable. It disgusts me. Hey, you. Hey, buddy. Yeah. He's like, oh my god! You, he, did you see him, like, lift his hands up in the air? He's like, yo, bro! Get away from me with that axe, man! What are you doing? You trying to kill a brother? <laughs> okay, I think there's a horror in the next room, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. And I'm going to enchant... Well, I don't know what I should enchant it with. Well, you know what? I have not enchanted an item with Mantarok yet. Or have I? Did I do that this episode? I can't remember. Uh, clearly I have, um... I have short... Oh, yeah, I, en I enchanted the Gladius. Oh, cool. oh crap. I enchanted the axe instead of the assault rifle. Oh, well. Nah, and now I have a manly purple glowing axe. Oh, oh, it's not even... It's not even... A, a horror. I thought it was gonna be a horror. Hey, I told... Hey, get off of me, man! Get off my back, bro! I thought for sure it was gonna be a horror. Boo. Hey, get, get away from me. I don't... Did I just... I don't think I killed him. <laughs> Maybe it was the Manta Rock stuff. Well, as you see here, this looks like... It's red, so it looks like Chaturga. Here's blue. Ooh, Ulioth. I told you he was sexy. And over here we have Zelatoth. What a lovely lady. Anyway, well, I guess we should read the uh, inscription, shouldn't we? The bass relic depicts a proud warrior. The image is very strong, dominating this part of the room. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall as if awaiting something. And over here we have Ulioth. This bass relic depicts a sorcerer casting a spell. There is an air of authority about him, convey uh, conveyed by his dominating visage. Do you guys say visage or visage? Um, below the design, blah, 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 something, yeah, pedestal, yeah, gotcha. And we have Zelatoth. This bass relic depicts a female scholar. Her author uh, authoritative glare dominates this part of the room. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the blah, blah, blah. Well, what you're supposed to do, if I'm not mistaken, is put these effigy. well, you're supposed to put these effigies on the thing. Now, I can't remember if you're supposed to put the effigy that is weak or is strong against wh whichever one it is. I'm going to go ahead and go with the one that's weak. So the one that's weak against Chaturga is um, Zelatoth. So I'll go ahead and place that there. And if it's wrong, then a horror will pop out and kill us. No, we are right. So the weakness against Zelatoth is Chaturga. Just kidding. No, it's um ooh, ooh, ooh. Ulioth. No. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting myself confused here. Chaturga is strong against Zelatoth. Ulioth is strong against Chaturga. Sorry, I, I'm getting my I'm getting my Pokemon um, um, 
matches mixed up. I always do that too. I've always done that in Pokemon too. I've always got them all mixed up, and I don't know why. It's just like it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like a do you know your left from your right kind of thing. Um, it happens to me all the time. Oh, well then. It seems as though a place has been opened unto us. Whee! Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh my god, look how bad ass he is. He's like, he's like, I ain't gonna take no for an answer, sucker. Oh, by the way. An in in innocuous, sorry, I thought that said insidious for a second. An innocuous panel wall caps the end of the room. It's conspicuously empty by comparison to the other walls of the room. I love how, like, everyone in this game is stupid. It looks like a door, okay? <laughs> You don't have to be like, hmm, it looks strangely different than everything else. No, it looks like a door. Strange oblie ob obelisk made from a dark granite-like material. It appears to be blocking the way forward, but the ob blah 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 and impervious to all damage. Yeah, you're right. You can't kill it. You can't whatever. What you can do, though... Well, you know what? I I'll get back to that in a second. There's so many ways that you can go in this place. Let's go ahead and go down the... Um, the stairs. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word stairs. Apparently. Oh my god. I don't remember that ever happening. Let's go ahead and pick this up, whatever it is. Cradled on a stone display, plinth is an enchanted gladius. Energy writhes across its surface, pulse pulsing through the surrounding air. That's right, we get an enchanted gladius, and guess what? It stays enchanted. Forever. And ever. And ever. Just saying. So, as we can see, there was no way that we can move this. Well, yes, there is. And it involves... Something special. It involves a puppy! I'm doing Ulioth. Because you know how I like Ulioth. It's a puppy! I think those things look so cute. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and banish this thing to the other realm. <laughs> there we go, that's all you had to do. Just create a puppy to be a martyr. Whee! Alright, now we can go ahead and proceed forth. Farth. Forward. Is that a trapper? Yes, it is. Pistol time! Get ready to get pistol whipped, sucker. You too. Don't think you're getting away that easy. Mother trucker. I can't remember which way to go. Clearly you can't go this way. Nor can you go this way. It's like you're going in the same places, but it's also... Everything is different. Oh, what do we have here? A shrine fashioned from dis, uh, disinterred human remains stands at the far end of the room, request, uh, resting in the arms of the bone. Uh, trestle. Uh, is a scroll of paper. Yeah, blah, blah. Basically, it's a spell. You have discovered the bind spell. In all honest honesty, I cannot remember what this spell does. Let's go ahead and look at it. Oh, and that was our last spell anyway. I cannot remember what this is supposed to do. This magic enables the caster to bind a creature with magic, forcing it to ally with them. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever used that, <laughs> unless it forces you to use it, which I don't remember if it does or not. Holy carp nuggets! Oh yeah, I forgot. You can, um... What you're supposed to do is, um, do a bind spell on one of them suckas. And use it, and, and he'll, like, go and kill the other guy at his convenience. Pretty sure, anyway. Maybe? Okay, welcome back, everybody. I am a total idiote, because the reason that stuff wasn't working is because those horrors were just like, what? That's poppycock. That ain't gonna do nothing to me. And apparently the horrors are, like, British or something. I don't know. Anyway, what I had to do, like a stupid person, is I had to create the five and nine, er, seven point spells 
and use a seven point spell. Do I have enough magic? Is my magic bar full enough? No. Because I'm telling you, this seven point spell takes a lot of magic. Look at him, he's like, ah, I'm walking around in circles. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah. Oh man, I just love the fact that they have a black guy. Because he's all like, because like, because like, you know, black guys in scary movies are like, no, I ain't gonna take none of this crap. And all the white people are just like, let's investigate. And the black guys are like, <laughs> the black guys are like, you crazy son, you crazy cracker. I ain't gonna do <laughs> Anyway, that's the experience I've had in all my all scary movies that I've been a part of. Because I've been a part of several scary movies in my day. Okay, we want to do a seven-point Chatoiga. Hopefully that takes care of one of them. I don't know if I had to be locked on to one of them. Nope, it just picks one at random. One's just going to be, like, completely killed by the other one. Oh, yeah. Horror battle to the death. I should have brought popcorn. Man, look at this. They look hardcore. Okay, and I did a little bit of research, and basically what it does is, um... Are you done? Yeah, they're both... They're both toast. They're both French toast. Basically what that spell does is it changes the alignment of one of the, um... of, one, of any enemy that you choose. It changes that alignment. Okay, so. A block of explosives. Probably a leftover from the war. <laughs> this chapter just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> I mean, explosives? Really? Well, that was oddly specific. Thank you. I think that was Ulioth. Ulioth doesn't really make an appearance. Like, Ulioth isn't very important in a run through where the main alignment is Zelatoth. Why that is, I don't know, which is kind of lame because Ulioth has a sexy man voice and I love him. Let's go ahead and go up this ladder. And I, go ahead, I guess go ahead and head back this way because, as you remember, there was another way that we could go, I think. Yeah. I think so, at least. No, I don't want to go down there. What do you think I is? Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was another way to go. There should be a ladder hole down here. Ladder hole. Ladder hole. Yeah, there you go. Or no, it's not really a ladder hole, but... Whatever. Or, or maybe I'm backtracking for no reason. I don't know, we'll find out. 